Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at the UK prices and also going over the US prices once more time for the upcoming pre-orders this Saturday, which includes some of the Necron stuff and some of the Space Marine stuff. So let's jump in and let's get started. So let's start with, of course, the big boy I personally think is a Silent King. This is the big model. This is the most expensive model actually on this list. So for those of you who know, this was coming in at 150 us dollars this is all retail by the way this is actually if you're buying it from gw if you're going to be buying it from third party stores like element games as i get mine from alchemist goblin gaming then of course you're going to be saving you know between 15 to 20 percent on some of their products and um, so it's 150 dollars as i just mentioned in the us for the uk it is 95 pounds that is 90 if this is a big boy model this is what they're saying that this is like the centerpiece like one of the biggest centerpieces that they have in an, an army and this is the necron centerpiece of course so 95 pound for the silent king right i'm just going to go through all the space marine stuff real quickly and just get that out of the way so for codex space marines this is just a normal book this is not the fancy limited edition because this is it doesn't have it on these price pants uh so that is going to be 30 pound for the normal space marine um codex edition if you're looking at that at us um, um, that is going to be around, let me just find it, um, $50. So $50 in the US, and it's going to be 30 um, British pounds. Chaplin on a bike is going to be coming in at 29 pounds, and the Chaplin on a bike um, US price is $45. Dollars. Um, the Invader ATV, or you know the Mario Kart stuff that we've all been bantering on, and you know memeing and stuff like that, that's going to be coming in at twenty-six pound fifty. So twenty-six pound fifty for that, and in the US that is going to be forty dollars. Um, the Space Marine Fire Strike Servo Turret, so the Tech Marine with the hover little turret that can charge into combat, which I always find absolutely hilarious. That is going to be coming in at. 21 pounds and if you're in the us that is going to be 35 dollars and also just at the end because i forgot about them the data cards so the space marine data cards are going to be 15 pounds that also applies with the necron data cards which are also going to be 15 pounds so the data cards for the necrons and the space marines coming at 15 pound that is half the price of a codex so um if you want to buy two lots of data cards it's basically buying a book um, a codex book which i find kind of ridiculous and moving on with the necron stuff we'll quick fire through this so we're going to start with the necron codex so again this is just like the space ring codex it's not the fancy limited edition one it's just a normal one this is going to be coming in at 30 pounds uh, with the us that is exactly the same as in dollars what it was with the space ring one that is 50 us dollars um the silent king we've already discussed 95 pounds just to reiterate that 150 dollar unios for you us chaps if you want to be spending the cash on that um the the lockhurst heavy destroyer is going to be coming in at 21 pounds 21 pounds for the Loctus Heavy Destroyer. Um, that is going to be 35 US dollars for those interested in um, America land. Um, the Canatech Doomstalker is going to be coming in at 26 pound 50 um, in the UK and in the US it's going to be coming in at 40 dollar unios. Um, like I said, with like the Necron data cards, they're exactly the same, you know, 15 pounds. Um, if I try to find it on the list, it's going to be around 25 US dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now, if we move on to the dice, so all the dice are 20 pounds. Even the fancy Necron dice, which I think are even more fancy and more cooler, they're all £20. So Iron Hands dice set, £20. Raven Guard dice set, £20. Salamander dice set, £20. Imperial Fist dice set, £20. That comes in at $35 per one in the US as well, for those of you um, who are interested in that. So there we go. Those are the prices. Um, there's nothing really more to say about that. Um, £30, uh, the codex has gone up. I've seen a lot of people arguing why the Space Marine or the, the actual codexes, like the standard codex, are going up in price. People are saying because um, it includes a digital copy of it now for free. Well, it's not really free if it goes up in price, is my argument to it. And plus, I think GW should have always been given us a digital codex because the problem with written codexes is that within a month, sometimes even like sometimes they even come out outdated. That is how funny some of these codexes work. Um, they should have been given us a free digital um, up grade just for free just with like this, this this should have been happening years and years and years ago but that's a bloody argument um for another time but there's all the prices and um, i'm sorry for like new zealand australia 
Um, Euro people, I don't have your prices. I just have my prices and the US prices. But hopefully some people in the comments can work it out and, you know, match it to other stuff on the site and just do it that way and maybe you'll get you you know the roundabout price for the stuff that we've just been mentioning in this video and um, that's enough for me thank you for coming thank you for watching if you've got any thoughts feedback anything like that post it down below if you've got any questions post it and i'll you know do my utmost best to try and answer you back um with um, um an answer right enough waffling thank you for coming thank you for watching see you now and bye bye